about improving this time of the year. You know, it's the last quarter of the season, so we're really going to have to lock in on everything. And I mean, I think guys kind of know what's at stake. You know, we need to win as many games as we possibly can to put ourselves in a position to win the division, make this playoff run. So I think guys are going to be super locked in this week. Coach was saying they're a lot better at home, or at least they've been this year, right. than on the road. I think they're 4-1 at home. Um, right. How much, how much has he kind of hammered that fact home and how you really have to bring a solid road game with you? Yeah, I mean, he missed, definitely mentioned this morning. I think they're 5-1 and one at home. Uh, you know, I think going out there in Oakland, man, their fans are going to be juiced up, so I think it's pretty exciting to play in that stadium. Um, I like, like I said, I just think that us, as personally as a team, we just had to make sure that we're really locked in. Uh, like you said, trying to take advantage of the, of the mistakes that they do. I think those teams like tied in the league for penalties and stuff like that. So, you know, we've been trending in the right direction when it comes to penalties and things like that. So we just had to keep preparing, making sure we're doing what we need to do on our end. Coach also said that uh, that Carl likes to throw to his backs and tight ends a lot. Yeah. Have you seen that on film? Yeah, I really have. I think one out of every three targets to, to the backs and tight ends. I mean, they have some really good players. Start starting with that running back in the back in the backfield. Even though he's a rookie, he's probably one of the better running backs in the league right now. He's really explosive. He runs super hard. And Darren Waller, I think, is, is pretty much their guy. I think he's, uh, he's leading their team and probably targets, receptions, I mean, and yards as well. So, I mean, I definitely think this week is going to be a big challenge for us. It's not only his safeties, but his DBs, just making sure that we're always on him, getting his face and different things like that to try to slow him down. And, um, and I think they're really good on third down as well. I think, but that's because they've been able to run the ball so well. They're staying in third and manageable. So we're gonna, first and foremost, we got to start the run for sure, and then you know win on third downs, and then you know if they get in the red zone, make them kick field goals. What is it? The, the skills. So well? uh, I mean, I think he's. I mean, he's pretty much a receiver out there. I think he's pretty fast. I think he goes up and gets the ball. I mean, the guy's six seven, two fifty. So he can definitely, he's pretty much one of the faster tight ends in the league. So I think he's having a really great year. And I think they're also doing a great job of scheming him, scheming up some plays to get him the ball. I mean, it's not just, you know, flat routes. He's going vertical and different things like that. So I, mean, I think he's just a great receiver, great ap athletic guy for sure. They're, they're really good on third down. Yeah. Too. How important is it? I mean, getting off the field is always important, but maybe extra knowing that they're so good this week. Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing is making sure that we're really good on first and second down, not allowing those guys to run the ball for five yards a pop so they don't end up in third and two, third and ones. I think uh, we've seen a stat thing. They have like 50 third and ones this year, which is a lot. So like I said, it means that they're really good on first and second down. So we have to make sure that we're getting them in third and longs, a situation where we can actually run our packages that Dean likes to run, we can blitz all our guys and things like that. And I think if we do that, I think we'll be successful on third down. Yeah, most definitely. I think the coach has been doing a good job since he's been here, kind of getting up to speed. But when we're on the field, especially during practice, make sure we're, you know, extra communicating with him. Because like I said, I mean, I understand it's, it's tough to be able to come into, you know, a team, you know, this late in the year and have to learn the entire defense. We put a lot of things in. But, you know, I think us is a great, I mean, as us as a DB room, we do a great job of communicating with each other. So we'll definitely make sure that we're always on the same page with him for sure.